That's a good fish right there. Good cracker. Gonna get these babies clean. Clean out dad's ice box. He'll be after me. That's what it, the way I was always taught, folks. You fill you up a bucket right here, or an ice chest, whatever it is you got. Put some water in that thing. And then I'll go through here and scale all these fish and throw them in that bucket. And the scale, I might just use something like this or a spoon. Butter knife works. But this thing right here, ooh, -wee, it tears them up, boy. I like to scale all my pan fish, pan fish, whatever you want to call them. It's one thing I don't like, it's going to somebody's fish fry, biting into a dang scale. I make sure to get these jerkers good. That's why I, I scale them all and then I go back through them. If I'd have damn clean fish when I was little and dad would have hit a scale, boy, it'd have been on. And I'd just throw them in that ice, ice box like that right there. And grab the next and get to get on him. scaler is called but it's a dang good one y'all can see it knocks them off with a quickness them hog hunting videos i hope y'all folks is enjoying them things we've had like i said on that video that's just uploaded we had a run of bad luck. Most folks like to fillet these jokers, but I like to scale all mine and then the kind of big thick ones i like to go back through i fillet one side of them leave the meat in the bone on the other side you just can't get around the flavor of that leaving the bone in especially on when you get into a mess of them smaller crappy under 10 inches boy you can or in the places it's legal to keep them under 10 inches you can just scale them and fry them whole. You can't beat them. That right there was a good one. You can tell. Kills is a little harder to get off.
But y'all get the picture of scaling these fish. I'll bring y'all back whenever whenever I go to fillet them and fillet them. All right, folks. We've got all these. We've got all these crappies clean. Now we're fixing to go back through them. We're either gonna fillet half of them or fillet both sides. Got my flat surface. Got my flat surface right here. My fillet knife. Like this one, we'll just fillet one side and leave the other side. And I don't like missing any meat on these babies. I'm going to do them like that. Come around down behind the ribs. And everybody just normally misses that right there. There's a lot of meat right there. leave all that and we're just going to come right here like that whack that off trim that off past the butthole and that's that you could trim them ribs off I probably will just for the simple fact I don't eat that Or I could just get the whole fillet, cut that off, show y'all how to do it like that if I'm gonna be doing it like that. But that's the basics. Fillet, fillet, half leave the bones, flavor. Ooh, can't beat that. This one right here, I'll probably just fillet both sides of this jerking. You don't miss nothing doing it like that, and then you just go back. And then you just go back and trim the ribs out. Like that, that's that little V I was talking about. Most people don't even get that, and that's one of the best parts.
takes a little time doing these old crappies upright. There's yet another fillet. See. See that? No missed meat other than that tail right there. Woo! But we're eating fish tacos. So we're just going to fillet these babies. Crappy tacos. I prefer just to fillet them over the damn rib bones. Right here, only reason I kept him because he hit it like a champ, swallowed it, and I ain't gonna throw him back. Not with him bleeding. And on these, I just hit that angle right there. Bring that through there. He is a little chunk though, but we're gonna leave him whole just so I can show y'all. Clean all that out of there. Nice, pretty. Leave that running in there like that. Whoa, baby. That old fucking log slick. Get all that out of there. That's what she said. Hope y'all folks enjoyed this video. Got a little knowledge from it. We sure enjoyed catching them and more importantly eating them. Like I said, we had fish tacos, but like, subscribe, share. Right here's a few of the 
boar hogs that we've caught over the last week and a half before deer season come in anyways we'll be back in the woods before long y'all stay tuned don't forget to subscribe